I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. Hello, and back on the Weirdale Way today. We're going to do section 11 today from Durham to Chester Lee Street. Neil's back with me, and my daughter has come with me this time. Over there is a bit of stone wall. That's where the old bridge used to stand. It used to be an old footbridge. This here is Pre-Bend's Bridge. It's where we started our walk and finished last time. It was built between 1772 and 1778 and designed by George Nicholson. It was designed to fit in with the scenery of the cathedral and to give the best views. The Weirdo Way actually goes on the other side of the bank. But why would you go on the other side of the bank when the views are on this side? The old mill on the other side is the Fulling Mill. It was used to power hammers, which were used in turn to turn wool into felt. The mill on this side was an old corn mill. Behind me is Framwell Gate Bridge, built in 1127 by order of Bishop Flambard. It's the oldest bridge in Durham. It once had a number of shops on it, but these were cleared in 1859 in order to double its size. A weir on the river weir. <laughs> Over there, it looks like a, a more modern mill in order to generate electricity. It looks, from this angle, it looks like it's a screw. So be very similar to the one that's at uh, Cragside Hall. This is Freeman's Reach Hydroelectric Generator. Generates enough electricity to power 400 homes in Durham. Crook Hall is one of the oldest inhabited houses in Durham City. The oldest part is the 14th century medieval hall. For this was added to in the 17th century and again in the 18th century meaning that the place now has a fine architecture from the medieval Jacobean and Georgian periods. Unfortunately, it costs money to go inside. This here is an old railway line. It's uh, Low Newton Junction. There's some very interesting things here. <laughs> Are these the gate-like structures? Like gate posts almost. You got the either side and either side of here as well. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose was, but if you know, put the comments below and let me know. Behind me is Durham Franklin Prison. It was opened in 1982 and expanded in 1998. It holds just over 800 prisoners, including some of Britain's most notorious criminals, such as the Yorkshire Ripper, and it's where Neil spends his holidays. <laughs> and a lot of Nick's friends are in there too, and we're going there to visit them right now. <laughs> Neil was just telling me you get a nice cup of tea in there. <laughs> He'll give you the insider story next.
This here is Brassside Ammunition Depot. Before the prison was built, these bunkers were used to store ammunition and explosives in World War II. A large part of this section is roadwork and the road between the prison and the abbey, which is where we're going to next, is actually quite busy so you need to take a little bit of care. This here is Finchale Abbey, it's uh, part of English heritage. Finchdale Abbey was a Benedictine priory. It was built in the 13th century. The abbey was built on the site of St. Godric's 12th century hermitage. The Abbey is also where St. Godric died. And it remained in use until 1538, when it was dissolved by Henry VIII. And mysteriously, St. Godric's body disappeared from his grave. Nobody knows what happened to it. So that was Finchale Abbey and uh, definitely one of the highlights of the Weird Ale Way and best of all it was free to enter. Yay! <laughs> Here's one for Trev, something or nothing guys and for Alan Metalman. We're on the edge of Great Lumley now. It's uh, not very far to the end. This is the first time we've been off a road. Up to now it's been nearly all road work. Uh, that's the path, the official Weird Ale Way path, according to the map. But that's far too overgrown. So we're going to take a detour, we can take a detour along the road and uh, drop down to where we meet up with the Weird Ale Way a little bit further along. So that's what we're going to do because that's just nettles and hogweed. So they've changed the path and the uh, new right of way is this way. That's better than going through all those nettles and hogweed. That's where the old path came and a new path comes along here, much easier. There's Lumley Castle over there, not sure you're going to get it on my camera. And there's the Emmerich Cricket Ground where we've parked the car. This is a very easy section, once more, uh, you could probably combine it with the other section and you'd probably be alright. It might sound a lot of miles but it's very easy going. 
and uh, the only thing I'll say about this section is for like the last mile, a mile and a bit, there's been a lot of uh, giant hogweed. So, something to be uh, careful about. So behind me is the Emirates Cricket Ground where Durham County play and this marks the end of section 11 and we'll pick up again on this bridge for section 12 soon. So how was that Neil? It was good, I liked it. The first bit's the best going through Durham and then it's a bit tedious but then you come to the Priory and that's really good and then uh, what happened after that? A bit of field work. Yeah. 7 out of 10, but 10 out of 10 for door. Yeah, it was very easy this time. So if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And share on social media to your friends. Let them know about us. And we'll catch you on the next one.